Finally, you've made it to the final rerun episode of three weeks in a row. Can you feel it? You're almost there. We almost will have a new episode next week. Almost we'll have a new episode next week. I don't know what that means. But either way, we're going to have an episode new an episode new next week. Uh, this week, I swear, vacations. Uh, I, this week, if you uh, don't remember, we did an episode way, way back. I can't even tell you what year. Probably 2015 on uh red brown's you're the hunter from the future from 1983 so if you haven't seen that make sure you watch it it's insanity uh and uh then enjoy this delicious episode from the past and we'll see you guys next week get to the chopper seems more like your guy from over there this is your the hunter from the future on stinker madness Hello, I'm Justin. I'm Sam, and I have brown pants. And I'm Jackie, and I like to pterodactyl hang glide. And this is Stinker Madness. Welcome to our show. It's uh, You're the Hunter from the Future, starring Reb Brown. You're the caveman with some ass whip. Yeah. Because he's not really hunting ever he at any point. He hunts. He never goes to the future. Or he's comes in from the, future the future the whole time. Everyone in the movie is from the future. Yeah. It was. I, I, I think it was supposed to be a Planet of the Apes type ending, but it yeah was lost. No, it was the lost. future. Is it? Yeah, but is is whose future? Our future. Is it our future? Yes. I'm not convinced. It's because they're destroying the oceans. I yeah, I'm not convinced that it's our future. I think that it's a future of a planet who had nuclear technology. I think that this is a different planet. Uh, that yeah, that's all fine and good, but the only thing explicitly stated in the film is that this is the future of a planet who abused the splitting of the atom. It's very much like Planet of the Apes Part 2. A planet <laughs> who's had all that shit happen in the past. In order for it to be the future, it's got to be somebody's future. There is nobody in this film who would be like, hey, that's my future. So it can't be from the future. He cannot be from the future. Yeah, not to mention well, that there were some sweet dinosaurs in this movie. And if in the future we're going to get dinosaurs back, I'm in. That's a pretty, know, pretty again, good point. Again, it's a shitty title by Columbia because the original title was Yours World, Yours which works world. better. Yes, which is also the name of the theme song, which is... Yours World. Oh, man. I really liked Yours theme song. Oh, shit, yeah. I liked it so much bigger than Do You Want to Be a Hero? Like, that was the shit. Because not only maybe take the the song out of the movie but the delivery of the song in uh uh sequence with the events that are happening on film because it's like your does something stupid and it's like yours will bow but he has to do like it only plays twice during the most awesome of events yes or what they are to be presenting us as the most awesome of events I, I think you guys are both full of shit. Do you, you want to be a hero? Is is do you want to be a hero? Is fucking awesome. No I like way. it. it has Again, nothing to it's do just with the him, context of the film. Him and his like, hatred towards hero, Biggles. Hero. Adventure uh, in time. I think yours world is is <clears throat> as awesome as Stargrove. I think that yours world, the song, is really trying to be uh, the Flash Gordon Queen thing. Oh, that's what yeah, I thought too. Yeah, yeah. this is like three years later, right? Yeah, yeah. but it's like in, whereas. Flash Gordon's Queen goes on uh, is the score of the film. Yes. And then every now and then Flash does something and it's Flash. Ah! This is a three minute song that is intended to do ev all of the things that Queen's Flash Gordon does. Well, it, it's an <laughs> intro. And then when he does awesome shit, it only just does the. Yes, well. It's awesome. I loved it. Uh, but yeah, your the hunter from the future takes place in a uh, a world. I think it's Turkey. I think it is Turkey. <laughs> there are a lot of penis-shaped rocks in this world. Yeah, what's with the penis-shaped rocks in Turkey? I don't know. I, maybe that's part of being nuked? Mushroom head rocks? I don't think they made that for the movie. I think there's just penis rocks in Turkey. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the, the diegetic of the film, it's like, oh, we'll shoot that. No, they shot it there because it's like, dude, those are big penises that we got to put that in. Yeah. Yeah. So either way, yours world has been exploded by nukes. Uh, it's a post-apocalyptic film, You don't know film, that, though. Essentially. You're just... Not at the beginning. No, but it's he's a caveman. Divulged. 
and everybody has gone back into uh are they cavemen or because that's one of my questions are they cavemen or barbarians what are we going to call okay. the inhabitants of yours world other than the island people so the cavemen are cavemen because they live in a cave you yeah, mean the, the, the ones with the monkey the bad blue guys the blue oh well, yeah some their skin of them are is blue, blue but dressed, some of them aren't they're all of their fur is very black yeah they're cavemen yeah very caveman cave people it's not it's not i didn't PC. see any women to be honest with you. Well, they had women. They stole women. They just weren't their women. They were not indigenous to that cave. Yeah, that's true. They're cavemen. Hmm. Okay. Cavemen. Uh, then there's some uh, gatherer people. Yeah. I, I thought those people were the barbarians. The villagers. The I've, village barbarians. They didn't have a village or they, they weren't barbaric. They were just like gathering people. I think in order to be a barbarian, you have to have a, a sword. Yeah. And or then something. furry loincloth is the other piece. You can't just have like patches of... of animal hide protecting your junk you, it's got to be furry otherwise you're just not much of a barbarian no oh okay i could take that point you're, so account. they're villagers and then your is like wandering dude he's uh kane essentially yeah from only Kung he's Fu. more awesome according to himself <laughs> oh yeah he definitely thinks of himself as pretty badass there's also the sand people that live in caves as yeah. well yeah. there's a lot of cave dwellers. and then in there's film. beach town there's beach town which they kind of just seem like they could be around today. Like, yeah. this is just the life that we've chosen to live here in eastern Fiji. Yeah, exactly. They're just doing whatever. We're one with the earth, and the mother nature provides everything we need, like fish right on the beach. And laser death. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's that was later by our design. Well, yeah. But, you know, we do have to avoid laser bolts sometimes. You know, I think that that was totally justified. Those people were just going to become the new hippies, and we just couldn't allow that. Freeloaders. They started. They started urinating within 300 feet of the water line. That's right. Screw those Hello people. Tents. Uh Then there's the island people, and uh, half of them are androids, and then half of them are guys, except for Enna. <laughs> Disenfranchised middle-aged people. Blonde dudes. They're they're all blonde. Yeah. Dudes. Except uh, for her. Except for the chick. Yeah. I believe the doctor it. gal and the other lady. Yeah, I believe that uh, Hitler would call those the chosen race. Yeah. yeah. Is that is 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 that what's being Overlord said right is there? Not blonde. He's I don't not. Get that. But neither is Hitler. So is that is it Hitler? Thing? Is he Hitler? That's what I kind of got out uh, of it. Uh, I mean, you can't really toss a bunch of blonde, good-looking guys on screen and have nobody be like, "Well, that's definitely not the Germans. That is definitely, definitely not, not the not Nazi. the Germans. No, definitely not those guys. There's not a single Jew around in this film." Probably has nothing to do with the Germans. Uh, nothing, nothing at all, except for the one guy who uh, has a mustache and uh, well, he's got a beard too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He enough. looks like Doctor Doom, kind of. Yes, he does <laughs> bear an uncanny resemblance you know, these to Doctor Doom. They know how to make a bad movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, a very eclectic mix of uh, people living on this exploded planet. But I'm gonna say that even though there was an eclectic mix. For an Italian movie, I'm going to tie this all together. Ah. Not a whole lot of boobs or nudity. I think it's a I think I I think that this is a children's movie. I think oh, this no, is geared towards children. It was made for a midnight uh midnight movie. You think? That's what it said. Then why not have boobs? They commissioned it for a midnight movie. Why not boobs? They had a nip because slip. Because he had to maximize every minute of this thing to put it on Italian television so it doesn't need to have boobs in it. Cuz it was on TV. So it's got to be like PG-13. Well, you, oh. can, you, you can put boobs on uh, Italian television, man. If, yeah, there if, was uh, a nip Could slip. you put boobs on Italian television in 1983? Hey, have you seen uh, National Lampoon's European Ita Vacation? Italy is a lot more conservative than most of other they, Europe. They, they, he's tuning, uh, Rusty's tuning into boobs on TV in Italy. That like, was, whoa. Was, how about that? Maybe that was France. Uh, I don't know. But when uh, Jackie and I were in England, uh, you can put boobs on TV in England. So today, today, yeah. But uh, yeah, most of those uh, the spaghetti westerns, none of them have nudity either. Excessive violence, yes, but not really nudity. Yeah, yeah. They're meant to exploit the American market. So yeah, well, the head is popping, fine. Boobs popping out, not no, good. No, no. But uh, as we mentioned, it takes place in the future past it's of an unknown. Of an unknown planet, but uh, you're a guy who uh, is just out wandering around at the beginning of this thing. He's just uh, 
looking for stuff and looking cool, I I think. He's got a sweet necklace and he's looking for love. He's just being awesome. What's he doing? He's just being awesome. Just being you can awesome. Just tell by looking at his face. He's like, ah, I'm being awesome over here now. He's hot dogging it. Yeah. He's hot dogging the desert. Yeah. The only person that's better at having a good time is Billy Zane. That is a fine point. Yeah. Because he is really Billy Zaning out at the beginning. He is like, Zaning all over thing. the place. He is definitely Red Brown as yours is much more charming as, as your than Red Brown as Captain, Captain America. Captain America. Red Brown's Captain America is very depressed. He's kind of a doofus. Yeah, he's sad, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just want to make paintings. My dad is dead. I'm sad. But, I uh, hated him as Captain America. Yeah. Ugly yeah. doofer. <laughs> Red Brown? I thought he was a fine Captain America no. for the 70s, other than the direction they put him in. He has the size for it. If he if he had been, that had been Daredevil, 1978, you would have been like, wow, he's handsome. But because it's Captain America, and because Red Brown is not Chris Evans, you're like, he's six. Yeah. He also had a funky wig in this movie. Yes, he does. Or extensions. Or extensions. But uh, he has got some super hockey hair that is also blonde because, uh, spoiler alert, but you've seen this movie. Uh, he's one of the Islanders. He, he's descendant of the good lookingers. He's not one of the dirt dwellers. And, and instantly, the dirt dwellers of the, of the world spot him as being different. Why is that man so different? Kayla asks constantly. It, I thought it was just because she was grabbing onto his honker and like, I don't know why he's so different than you, old shrivelly man. Yeah. But uh, she he, spots it instantly. Well, I mean, it, he did kill a, a triceratops dinosaur. with an axe. He's also the only one in this movie not wearing a shirt, so. That's true. Could have something to why do with that. Why is that guy different? He's not wearing a shirt. And he doesn't have a beard. Uh-huh. Like everybody in yeah. her tribe had a beard. And no beard. So if you mm. take your shirt off, will I feel that way about you? Most certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he comes in from the desert mountain and the music's going, yours will. And uh, the the villagers are having uh, like some party day, like special sacrifice day of some sort. It's like we came over here day. Yeah. We have found a new spot to put our only mm. architecture, which is some like burning tripods yeah they got a guard they have a guard tower like but it's only like a like a six foot tall guard tower it's not much of a guard tower and they don't need it they don't really need it well it doesn't guard them against anything no and it's just made up of piled up sticks yeah so they have other piles of sticks that they've lit on fire so that they can hold their children to the sky in celebration or memory of something simba like fashion yeah like And it wasn't for very long either. They were like, God, my arms are tired. We're putting these little peckers down. (laughs) Yeah, they're not small children. These children that they're holding up to God are like 10 years old. Yeah. Hold your children in the air and celebrate the coming to of over here (laughs) and the discovery of those leaves. And Greg brought our sticks. Good job, Greg. He also says, let there be feasting and hunting, which is out of order. Yeah. like You have to hunt. Then you have to be successful. Then... You can maybe say, let's feast. Yeah, so speaking of hunting, there's these two people who we find out later that their name, Kala and Pag. Pag is serious business. Pag is serious business. <laughs> Pag may be the hero of this film. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> he's an old, feeble old man. <laughs> he's not He's not your typical he- hero or your typical feeble old man. He's not wearing something that would be considered flattering. He's wearing Fred Flintstone's shirt. No, and he's not built for it. It's a onesie with only one arm over the shoulder. Like, he looks like a fucking caveman. He does. Yeah. And Kayla is uh, uh, your average uh, skimpy loincloth lady from any movie out of the 70s. You said she was an old Playboy playmate? Is that what you... Bond girl. Bond girl. Old Bond girl. She's a moonraker. Gotcha. So they're out looking around, and they I, I think they're hunting, but they go for this baby Triceratops that's kind of sniffing around. Yeah, because it's part could, of the hunting festival. I couldn't tell that that was a Cyteratops. Cite, cite, oh, yep, boy. that's it. That's the scientific Triceratops. term. Triceratops. <laughs> Triceratops. I, I couldn't tell that that's what that was. I thought it was some kind of huge, horny worm. Yeah, I thought it was like a spiny rat. It looked like... A couple, it looked like a, a green piece of foam with some horns coming out of it. Yeah, that somebody's pulling on a string and yeah, shaking. They like were doing One of those that. wire jobs. They had some sound effects. We're like, oh, baby sound effects. Oh, oh, baby dinosaur. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> they, 
mom is uh, not happy about this, and she like jumps or he- rears her head from behind the bushes. And mom looks good. Mom triceratops. Yeah. I was surprised by how good yeah, this good. mechanical thing looks compared to everything else in this film. But, Did you uh, notice that mom totally killed the baby? Yes, she swings her tail around to to get Peg and Kayla. And just smashes the shit out of the baby. <laughs> Nice job. Yeah. Way to protect your children. Huh. But your jumps out of nowhere. Ha ha! I will fight you, Triceratops, and protect these innocent people. So he does, and he like he's got a uh, an axe, like a stone axe. Yeah, he's got a stone axe, and uh, he chops it in the face a bunch of times, and it's kind of bleeding. But then like bleeds a lot, actually. Yeah, it's, it's it's yeah, it's I it's profuse. But then his final blow is like right in the center of its skull, which is. If anybody knows anything about dinosaurs, it's not where you want to strike a dinosaur. Those skulls are quite thick. Not unless you're your, you just cut right through there with a rock. Yeah, I guess, man. If it's you're a very sharp tough, rock. Yeah. So it's dead, and then he like turns to the camera and goes, "Yeah, and yeah," he, he does. Drinks He's his like, blood. Drink this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, guys, I'm awesome. <laughs> Am I awesome? Yeah, that's what. Like, I he think does I'm awesome. He doesn't introduce himself like, hey, how are you guys doing? I'm awesome. He just walks up and says, hey, I'm awesome. He's uh, he's quite smug, this, this your. <laughs> yeah. Like, where are you from, caveman? I'm from fucking Long Beach. <laughs> I just rode my <laughs> surfboard out here, bro. Yeah. How are the waves? Oh, fucking, I'm not even listening to you. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm going to go bang this chick. All right. Catch you. Catch you later. Probably not, though. I couldn't hear you. I'm listening to my Beats headphones. Wait. Aren't we barbarians? Yeah, that's how cool I am. He uh he's got a medallion, and so Pag notices it, and Kayla's like, "Oh, what's this medallion thing?" And then the old the old wise guy of the uh the village what, wise ish what you, guy. What do you call those guys? There? Village elder. Yeah, I guess the yeah. homeless guy that they gave twenty dollars to to be yeah. in this film because yeah. that's what he looks like. I have seen one of those before. It's from a lady that lives across the mountains, through the desert, and in some caves. I've seen it before. Where, where were you? She said to at the west. Where you saw this lady? Buddy, Far in the west, which turns out to be like eighteen feet away. Yeah, is he? This guy also in his younger days was he a yor just wandering around, being awesome and shit, looking at stuff, or was? Because it seems like he should have been with these villagers this entire time and never would have found this lady ever. But he had to sow some wild oats in his youth. <laughs> yeah. Just walked around in the desert and. What do they call that year you take off after high school in Europe? Your journey year or whatever? Oh, um, God, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Good job. So the villagers are like, yeah, well, now things are cool. Let's have have a party. Because there's actually something that's successfully been hunted. Yes, quite indeed. Quite big and tasty, I think. But so they throw down a party and there's dancing and I guess lady dancing. Like every all the it's men get to sit in a circle. Twirling with ropes on. Yep. It's kind of belly ish. And then Kala goes up there and does the gimme gimme the sex dance. Yeah, she's she's putting on and the it's vibe shitty. Big time. It's like you were not good at dancing. But yours like me Reiki. Oh, he likes everything. Because yeah. <laughs> he's awesome. <laughs> he's awesome. It's okay. <laughs> you can't not like things when you're awesome. Yeah. Well, up in the hills, there's some cavemen attacking. Like, they're being covert cavemen, taking out the, the guards and, and stuff that are watching the party folk down on the ground. and Not guarding. Not guarding. They're they're probably just watching Kayla like, God, I wish I was awesome and could get some of that. Yeah. I'm no your. Oh, dead. You're actually doing me a favor. Ooh, less sexual frustration. Blech. So they jump down finally and start attacking the villagers, but uh, they all run in panic. But Yor, he goes in hard. Yeah. Solo. Starts whipping some ass. His uh, his fighting style is a lot of leaping, jumping over things. There's some unbalanced kicks. Tumbling. <laughs> yeah, some unbalanced kicks. I think I saw a back off, fist off in there. Off kilter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the back fist, of course. But uh, apparently he's not good enough because they have to escape him, Kayla, and Peg. Yeah. And the rest of the villagers, leaving the rest of the villagers to just get quite murdered. Get quite murdered. And <laughs> they killed they, they killed some of the kids, but not all of them. And they took the woman. Why did, why did they? Who? <laughs> so, yeah, no, when they come back, because they're like, oh, let's get out of here. And so they go across the river. And then. Peg goes back. Peg's like, I want to go back. I'm not sure why still. 
It's like, okay, well, meet me by that tree. Uh huh. You know, the one I'm talking about. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, sure, bro. Sure, I've been here before. Sure, but bud. I am awesome, so whatever. And the, so they go and do it in some other tree. Uh huh. And then uh, Pag finds the village elder who's like, they took the women, they killed the children. Only some and of they them. they took some children. Wait, did they kill them or did they take them? <laughs> so they took children too? I didn't notice that. Yeah, they said that. Huh. But then I don't see okay. any children. That's going to play in later. a couple of women. With one of my primary flaws <laughs> with your as a human being. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so they take some, some of the children and the ladies that they think are scrumptious, I guess. Well, they're going to... Yeah, what are they... These cavemen don't get it. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so... So Pax has gone back, and Yora, Yor and uh, Kayla are sleeping in a cave tree, and Yor mumbles some stuff about how he's grumpy about his medallion. I'm going to burn in a question. Is that okay. Yor's apartment? <laughs> the cave tree? Because he's got, like, a blanket and some ropes there, in yes, there. Yes, it's his stuff. Yeah, it's like his shit is in there. That's, Either that's it's Yor's his stuff, apartment. or he knows that, like, ah, oh, all of these cave trees have blankets yeah. and ropes. No, it's got to be his, like... yeah. It's his bang pad. Yeah, it is. And she's like, what's that blanket for? He's like, well, I'm not going to bang you on a rock. His stabbing cabin. What, am I, what do I look like? Uncivilized? Yes. <laughs> well, I am. I use blankets. How about that? If this tree's a rockin', <laughs> cave tree. <laughs> cave tree. <laughs> if you hear noises in the cave tree, stay outside. <laughs> it's just squirrels, but really it's not. It's me. Sounds like humans having sex. It's, it's probably that. Don't watch. <laughs> it's weird. It's a weird thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> or do because i am awesome i am awesome you know if you want some pointers just, just poke your nose in here and see what i'm doing stick your head in the cave tree <laughs> yeah <laughs> nothing bad could ever happen if you hear if you hear my theme song i'm doing a really good job <laughs> it's turning to a pivotal point of yeah. the movie. Uh, so the next day they're out wandering around i don't know where they're going at this point i guess they're gonna meet up with peg someplace but where does peg sleep during this whole they shenanigans? lose track of when it's day and when it's night all the time in this movie yeah so in the movie it seems like it's been about 10 minutes mm -hmm. it's been long enough for you to throw down a couple of mean ones on her <laughs> And then, you know, they're going to walk over to the other tree that they're supposed to meet Pag at. And he's there. He's just, he's been waiting. Like, wait, weren't you supposed to come to the cave tree? And he's like, I did go to the cave tree. Wrong cave tree. Oh, I thought you meant the cave tree I live in. Ah, I've been waiting for you all day, yeah. your dick. So they don't make it to the cave tree. They get surrounded by the bad guys again, the cave cavemen. Men. And, uh,. Peg sees it all go down, and uh, Yor gets knocked out by the bonk to the head, and the medallion and Kayla gets stolen by by the cave people, and who the cave guy, the king cave guy, whatever his name is, he has a name. Okay, I don't know what I don't king remember what of it the is, caveman. but he's like, now I have his power, and it's like, is that how that works? Yeah, these cavemen don't know how anything works. Does he even have power, or is he just he awesome? He's just awesome. Yeah. Now you've got a shiny piece of metal, which is apparently like we'll find out later. It does serve some purpose, but not what he thinks. And then he goes into the cave with mm -hmm. what's her face, right? With Kayla, which you would think, oh, they're going to use these women for the purpose of raping and sustaining their numbers. I don't know what the hell they're doing with these ladies. No, they it, got them in cages. It seems like they're just running around playing grab ass with them. Well, they're <laughs> They're scaring them. Yeah. Like, oh, let's let's scare these ladies. There's some Scooby-Doo music in the background, and they're just chasing them, going, I'm going to get your buns. Woo! And they're, they're not doing going, anything. Ah, no! There's screams of plenty, but it's just gooby, gooby, guy, guy. And pinchy, then pinchy the buns, buns. King cave, king cave man's like, oh, they'll bring this one. Anyone who can uh, best me in single one, one on ten combat can... <laughs> bother this lady more than they're already bothering her because we're not gonna we don't get it we're not gonna do the thing we're supposed to do here we are the only thing that makes not sense good cavemen we are not good cavemen so your uh before all this go down goes down your gets uh tossed off a mountain that's why he can't he can't stop anything they your, uh, pag is like i'll shoot an arrow and kills one guy but your still gets tossed off a cliff and uh lands in a tree but uh, he climbs back out. He climbs back out later. Pag just watches him. He doesn't even bother to help. He's, He's like, oh, like, hey, you're back. Hey, good to see you, bud. Yeah, I'm awesome. A little tired. So awesome. they look into the, the cave because this cave is like 
not much of a cave as it is in, like where you could park the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty big and open. So they're just like looking down in there like, oh, man, these guys are really not doing this right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have they, uh, do they know Pag? Are they familiar with the birds and the bees? <laughs> yeah. Pag's like, I don't I don't think they are. Oh, no. A night beast. I don't think these guys have any plan. Oh, yeah. The, the night beast. Look out. You're, it's the beast of the night. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a giant moth. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. It's a mothosaur. I wrote down what this is. It is a punch, a mothos. Oh, no, I got to wait for the other part. Okay. I'll tell you what it is my- post-event. I think it's a mini mothra. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's small moth dinosaur thing, but uh, he bonks it. So I was a little disappointed this time around because the first time I saw it, I thought he just punches it in the face <laughs> and knocks it out. But he hits it with a rock. Oh, yeah. He hits it with a rock in the face, though. Yeah, he pretty much punches it in the face with a rock. And then he uses it as a hang glider to traverse the canyon and go straight into the uh, bad guy cave. And then do a kick. And then do a double foot kick into a guy's face, which was pretty awesome. It looks at, terrible. At what? At which point, that's when the creature is what I have named it. The punched out Mothosaur hang glider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. Is it dead? Now with dropkick action. <laughs> I, I mean, they sell got, those at Toys R Us. Yeah, they do. I I guess. Did he kill it? Or because it seems like if he kill it, it's not going to fly very good. I don't know. He's got it. Uh, he's he's got it figured out. Yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't come back to life. You and, never like, even start see it again. People. It just he uses it as a way to get down there, and then it's kind of just... It's either laying in the corner, or it's alive, and it just fucks off. Or he hangs it up on the uh, bad guy caveman coat hanger. He's like, now that I'm here, let me put this over here. Now that I've drop-kicked your your leader. So he's running around, punching and kicking guys, doing the flipping business, and... and hi ho 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 and Pag is playing Overwatch. He's still on the across the canyon, uh, shooting arrows at guys and getting a couple. But Yor grabs Kayla and the medallion, and quizzically for a film, they decide to run deeper into the cave. So, yeah, wait, what's going? Huh? Instead of just running away from the guys whose asses they just kicked. Yeah. So they run across a bone bridge and they so- knock it into like the bone pit. Yeah, and so they got a little bit of time, and they find this lake in the middle it's of the a cave. Sh- it's a dam at the end of the cave. Yeah, there's a d- well, there's a lake being blocked by a dam. And it's not a lake blocking dam, I'll tell you that much right <laughs> no, now. Oh no, it is not. <laughs> but uh, the cavemen start chasing after him, but then your like, wedges a, his stuff, not his penis, but his stick. He's some stick, and he yeah breaks it he loose. He breaks the dam open. And this is this is where I have a problem with yours, yours a human being. Yeah. He drowns all of the bad guys. Plus the women and children. Oh no. Maybe they made it out. You no, know that. they didn't make it out. If they can't make it out of uh uh, uh, uh if oh, Yor has to take a fucking Mothra across the, yeah. the ravine, where are they gonna go, Jackie? Just jumping into the ravine? Well then they're fucking dead because water's coming at them. Maybe they went and committed Harry Carey with those farty snakes. Oh, the farty snakes. Oh, yeah, we forgot about the farty snakes. That's that too are bad. Also there's some the farty cave. snakes in the cave. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a pit of farting think, snakes. The farty snakes were in water. Do you think they liked it when it had more water? I think they did. I think they did, because then they were like, freedom! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no all they those all women died. and children died. Yeah, they by died. By yours hand. Mass murdering your. So they get away, and they head into the desert. Because I guess now they've made a subconscious, unspoken decision that they're going to go find this medallion lady. Yeah. I don't know why Pag gives a shit. I understand why Kate Kala gives Kala a shit because she boner. wants to bone down. Pag's like, I promised your dad I'd take care of you. Oh, yeah. So he's just like, uh, like he's, he's like 3PO. Wherever you guys go, I'll go too. Just because. It's like a whole man at arms, Tila, uh, He Man thing going on mm-hmm. there. Because Tila is not my man at arms biological daughter, right? I don't think so. Yeah. No, he. That's exactly what they got going on there. No, Man at Arms is her dad. Oh. And it's Who's... kept a secret from her because her mother is actually the sorceress. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Bow. Cartoons bone in. That's a thing in Japan. Uh, so yours like, hey, you guys stay here. I, I need to go check something out over, over there. You just stay here. So he goes, wanders off. And uh, the rock mummy dudes. 
yeah, of the desert show up. The dirt people. Dirt guys. Sand people. They're they're very similar in lifestyle to say Tuscan Raiders from the Star Wars universe. I don't know. They seem very similar in lifestyle to like rocks. Because they don't do anything until somebody shows up and just land in the dirt. Yeah, what do Tuscan Raiders do the rest of the time? Play cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> Skip bow. <laughs> they have like tents and shit. And they, they play, <laughs> which translates into, do you have a three? No, go fish. They have hang down contests. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, everyone loses. <laughs> Did you see that Tuscan Raiders balls? <laughs> they were weird looking. <laughs> Uh, sounds like a bunch of bantha dick to me. Yeah. So Yor finds them, and and they're f- like waving flame sticks at him, and and uh, they chase him into a cave because there's lots of caves in this there's film. Caves in the movie. There's plenty of caves, and he uh, he can't beat them, but they like because they net him, I guess. And then they just let him out of the net, like, oh, we've proven to you that we can net you. Here, you can go ahead and get out. And he's like, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't. I, I, you got a net. You guys, you got a net. No, I get it. I get it. Fuck I'll, that I'll go shit. where you want. But uh, some lady is like, I want him from the distance. Do not touch him. He is mine. And so they ta- take him in. And uh, it's some blonde lady who's like in her mid 20s that uh, actually, she was that. freaky looking. Yeah, she looked just scary, like yeah. one of my cousins. Huh. That is freaky. And I was like, ew, ew. And she's got a, she's also got the medallion. And a big old mole on her face. Medallion lady. And she's like, I have lived here for some time and I am worshipped as a god by the dirt people. See these men behind me? And sure enough, there's dudes in ice. And they've also got medallions. Why the ice is there. Damn it. That's one of my questions. How'd those dudes get in that ice? She says in the movie, How did those dudes no get the ice? No one knows why this happened. We drink some of the water, though, and they like me. That's basically the gist of her existence. Hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the answer to that question, if you had that for a question. No, just how those dudes get in that ice? They, nobody knows. Well, you tell me. Uh, it seems like it was a terrible accident. Did they get, like, teleported there? Or were they like, because they're all like in midair too. They're not like standing around or like, like frozen guys. They're in a glacier. Like, like they jumped and then were like, oh shit, glaciered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have like a oh, freeze ball. They're being your, because everybody from your island is like, I'm awesome. So they are all doing like, they just did something cool, like a game of, a pick me up game of football and somebody scored a touchdown. So they all like jump up in the air to do the freeze frame, jump up. Yeah. And then glaciered. Yeah. Just cause. Just cause. Another one, Steve was like, I'll, I can make you freeze for the picture. And then he does. And then they're really frozen it's forever. A real freeze frame yeah. right there. Maybe they decided they saw what the outside world was like and they're like, yeah, fuck this. Let's uh, chill out for a few hundred years, see what things are like. Too literal. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Chill out. Cool party. So, uh, they, the, the dirt people want to sacrifice Yor because I guess they don't like him. They sacrifice everybody yeah, to the lady. Couldn't she be like, he's cool, he's with me? She doesn't ask any questions. That's what I get from her. She's like, ah, we drink some of this water, they don't fucking kill me, and I don't ask a lot of questions. I'm not, I'm not fucking that shit up. Yeah. Sorry, Yor. You seem like an all right guy, but man, I got a good thing going. Yeah, I got a, I got a whole thing where I don't get stabbed to death here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on keeping on with that. I do only get to stand around in a cave. It's kind of cold. That's the only thing I do ever. Yeah. So that's better than death. So they're like stab, stab with their fire torches, and yeah, uh, but they then, bring in a fire sword. Yeah, the fire and sword. Put it in a rock. Yeah, but yours like fuck that shit, and some of the fire gets into the ground that's covered in gasoline. Their water is gas. So she's a gas drinker. I don't know. I didn't get this part at all. That's why I'm just not saying anything. I'm like, okay, because the cave just goes up. The cave just catches on fire. The, the, there's men on fire, and like everybody's got a fork with fire on it. Yeah, but they're on fire. They're yeah. on, everything's on fire. Everything's on fire, and the Except cave your. starts to collapse. And the icy tart. Yeah, and the icy tart. But the cave starts to collapse, and she gets bonked by a stalactite. Yeah. Proper scientific uses there. I yeah, saw. Exactly. I noticed that you picked that up in the film too. It's not a oh, slag yeah. mite. No, those are point up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We could be Splunker or Sam. 
Ay, ay, ay. Ass spelunker. <laughs> Ass spelunker. <laughs> So she gets bonked and she's out. So Yor carries her and and uh right then Kayla and Peg show up and uh she this lady doesn't even have time to even really say anything before Kayla's like, "Mm, -mm uh-uh. No, you ain't bringing no blonde bitch around here." Yeah, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Who the fuck is that bitch? <laughs> yeah, who the fuck is that bitch? Uh-uh. And he's like, "Hey, I'm awesome." <laughs> And then Pag later's like, what? He's going to bang through chicks. You guys got to deal with it. He ain't doing anything like that. Oh. <laughs> and then she's like, fuck that. Peg's like, I, we, I'm not banging anybody. He's banging two chicks. If anybody should be bitching, it's me. But I'm not because look at him. He's awesome. Yeah. Kayla is not having it. No. She is poopy instantly, which is really odd to have in a movie of this nature. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> So, the blonde lady introduces herself as Roa, just for our Noah or Noahs. <laughs> Roa, so are we Noahs. <laughs> for our Noahs? Yeah. Our little... Our brain like, Noahs. That's not good. So, they build a raft, and they raft down the river, because... <laughs> oh, she she tells them about... Uh, Roa tells them about the island. The island. And uh, you, if you go out into the ocean, there's a sea that you cross, and... Uh, dangerous sea that has, but on an island with the castle no, on so it they, or something. She tells them about the beach people. I thought mm. the beach people tell them about the island. Eventually, mm. there is an island, but first you got to go to the beach. The weather part is for the beach people. No, because Rowan knows because she's one of the island. She folk. doesn't remember shit though. Yeah, okay. Well, either way, they head out on the uh, down the river, and Yor and uh, Roa like take a break, and she's like. Watch me, oh, watch me play in the water. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so she's she's throwing out the vibe now, Roa is. And I don't know what Kayla's doing at this point. Oh, I, she's just being pissed. She's, she's hanging out with Pag. This is when he's like, yeah, he's going to nail that broad. She's like, well, I don't like that at all. And he's like, yeah, it's tough shit. You just sit there and make dinner. And if you uh, play your cards right, maybe he'll nail you later. Well, he does. They just I, Apparently, they just pulled over to take a bone break. Yeah. Like, this is, looks as good a spot as any. Uh, you stick around here. I'm going to go take care of this over here. Like, Pag's sort of mending his bow and uh, Kala's making dinner, and you just kind of over the hill here. Oh, well. <laughs> and she's Damn like, it, he's doing a good job. Yeah. She's like, is that the third time? <laughs> I need the same music. Bitch. I'm going to kill that bitch. <laughs> oh, and she tries, too. Yeah. Yes, she does. She's like, I'm going to go find them. Yeah, they tussle quite a bit. And like, she pulls out a knife on her. She's like, I'm going to fucking cut you. Yeah. It turns into a street fight, like, real fast. <laughs> and then they get interrupted by the cave blue the man. The cave people. The, the, these guys aren't dead. So. The fuck? Where did you guys come from? Why do you care? What are you doing? How did you get all the way down here? We had to take a boat. You guys don't even have... Well, you they now have beaver... running water in your cave, but... They rode their beaver skin pellets down. That's what happened. The, the water from the lake just carried them down into the where they're at. It was like a trip to San Dimas. <laughs> While oh. Raging Rapids or whatever the hell it's called. They, instead of killing everybody, you just gave him an awesome water slide to where mm -hmm. he was going. Yeah. Oh, you guys took the shortcut. I had to deal with dirt people. Yeah. So they fight, and uh, Roa gets bonked by a club. Well, apparently a lot harder than she got bonked by that stalactite. Yeah, because she is quite dead now. She's, She's oh, dying. she has her death scene. Yeah. <coughs> Eat your heart out, Ben Kingsley, from Slipstream. Here, Kayla, take my medallion. You and your have a good time. Kiss me, y'all. One last time. Right in front of Kayla to make her jealous, so I'd be like, you yeah. have my medallion, but you'll never have my man. She, like, honks his dong one time. <laughs> <laughs> just gives a little, like, her death is giving a point to Kala, like, oh, you want to lick the penis off my hand? <laughs> yes, I, just, I just yanked that, just yanked that wiener right in front of you. <laughs> so they bury her under mini Stonehenge, and uh, they just, they're like, see ya. They head out to uh, the ocean, but on their way, they hear some screaming. The kids screaming and there's uh inside of a cave there's some kids uh being attacked by a dino another dino dinos are problems and uh dinos so, are everywhere so your kind of fights it but he does he's not winning 
And Peg is just laying arrows into this thing, and then one of them finally goes right into its eyeball, and it's like, uh, and rolls over on its side. Yep. This is the point where Peg starts really sort of shaking his fist and saying, I am not a sidekick. Yeah. I am. I deserve awesome. some pussy, too. Anyone? Please? Please? <laughs> Hold on. Does it work? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, just do whatever. <laughs> just tug on it. I'm just going to, yeah, just tug on it. <laughs> it might take an hour. Just keep tugging. <laughs> so they uh there's also another lady <laughs> like uh oh <laughs> Kayla's not happy. Yeah. This one's uh named Tarita and she leads them to the village by the sea, the sea people. And the the king of the sea people, Tarita's father is like, "Oh, you have saved my daughter and these children. Uh now it means that you must bang my daughter." <laughs> She's right? your wife now. Here yeah, you go. Here you go. I was like, oh, dude, is this just a theme in this film? But yours, like, I am already smoking. smoking yeah, he learned his lesson. He's like, I, you know, would, but th- this woman will choke you. Yeah. <laughs> she will just choke the life right out of she you. She's not afraid to cut. But so they're told of some man that fell from the sky and inside this cave is like a remnant of his <laughs> bicycle reflector. I don't know what this fucking thing is. I had no idea. It looked like it could have been a car mirror, but then when you get up closer to it, it looks like a reflector of it's some kind. just a reflector. But it also has, like, flashlight capabilities and a radio. Yeah. yeah. So. And then I guess it exploded, like, the man exploded, and that was I, the I, only thing that sure. didn't explode, so they're still kind of worried that yeah. it's going to explode. And They take a look at it, and it's like, oh. So Peg is like, well, I'm going to go check that thing out a little bit better. I, I left my weapons in that cave. I'll be right back. <laughs> this is, you, I can't forget about the, like, he tries to get to the weapons first. And the guy's like, no, no, I have something to eat. It's like, oh, okay. And then <laughs> the actor who plays Peg just sticks his whole face in his dinner. <laughs> just got, like, rams one of it mutton like, legs. Yeah, it's like a lettuce <laughs> taco, and he just puts his face in the middle of it. <laughs> like, yep, oh, I'm Okay. Touche. <laughs> I'll worry about that later. <laughs> so he goes over there, but then all of a sudden there's laser fire on the village. Just lasers going pew, 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 and blowing up the... This is after he they were like, well, it's talking. Yeah, yeah. There's some communication that comes in over the uh, the object. Yeah. And it's like, uh, we've attacked and things are going well. It's, uh, good for us. <laughs> and you're like, uh-uh, motherfucker. Not cool, dude. You can't burn this awesome village down. Yeah, he just was... blows the shit out of it, and he's like, "Damn you, talking box!" <laughs> like, and then throws it on the chucks ground. It, yeah, and it still doesn't break because it's already survived an explosion. So the village burns to the ground because of laser fire from space or something. I don't know. Yeah, from the island. And uh, so Tarita's like kind of bummed out, but she gives them a boat anyways to go to the island and seek what you choose to she gives him the dad's boat because she's like well we need a new leader how about you and he was like no thanks i'm out and then she's like well then you can have my dad's boat to do whatever it is you we haven't told haven't us that you're doing do it's a pretty nice boat yeah well, compared to the other boats that i saw on that island nothing is like a boat made out of straw and hay yeah mm. a boat <laughs> that will eventually become quite soggy <laughs> That's that's a good... That's, At the bottom of the ocean. Here's my dad's two-hour boat. <laughs> if you don't make it there in two hours, you ain't making it. Well, they're not making it anywhere because the storm hits and they get capsized. Because the storm, and I can't remember who says it, but the, the weather around the island is always bad. Yeah. So they crash on the island, they get washed up, and uh, they're being watched by the overlord who's got like a bullshit crystal ball And some security metal gloves. And he was totally like ping the emperor in ming yeah emperor from, ming from flash gordon yeah but he's also like uh saruman and he's also like dr doom yeah. yeah oh you know who he's like the bad guy from every fucking movie ever jaggy he's not really like wow. darth vader <laughs> he's not darth vader <laughs> because his minions are like darth vader <laughs> yeah they got the back of darth vader's helmet so, oh, so he's like palpatine Justin. he's like emperor palpatine yeah, he's i kind of kind of like yeah emperor well he's palpatine. got the hat like palpatine yeah <laughs> And he's got the beard like the Flash Gordon villain. He's an amalgam of baddies. There's just some things that you can do that'll like fashion decisions that can't be unmade that make you evil, I guess. <laughs> and uh, black cloaks and metal gloves. Mm-hmm. Never going to be a mm-hmm. good guy. Yeah. So all of a sudden, uh, he sends the uh, these robots out that, as we mentioned, are kind of Darth Vader-y. And uh, they zap Yor with 
lasers or something. I don't know. They like they used stun. I guess that looks like it's stun. <laughs> That's my stun mode sound effect. Yeah, and uh, but not before he knocks one of their heads off. Oh yeah, and does. we discover dun dun dun. They're robots. They're, They're robots. robots. Androids. So he, uh, they go to get Pag and Kayla, who washed up on shore in a different spot, and uh, some other dude grabs them, and he's one of the the Germanic men that we spoke of before. He's very blonde. Yeah, one of the future men who's just bored. Yeah, <laughs> he Why looks are... like a crappy vampire. <laughs> He's all white, like he's been washed out, like he doesn't have any color on his face. His hair is slicked back. It's all like stiff. He's got a bouffant. Yeah. like He's got my dad's haircut. And then they're all wearing painters schmocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The cheap ones that are like $2. Eh, the future sucks. So they put Yor in some tube thing, and uh, I guess it's like his like DNA checker thing. It's like- a catch-all machine for whatever. If you need to like... See what's wrong with him. You put him in there. Mm-hmm, if you want to mm-hmm. read his little his little uh, TV amulet mm-hmm. of his life, you can do that from there. Whatever technology you need at the moment, that room will supply you in some way with it. And uh, he meets Anna, E-N-A. The only person that has a job besides the overlord. That's why I think they're Let rebelling. Let a woman do it. They're, they're it's a all typing re- job, gentlemen. They're all yeah. rebelling because they're just super bored. Yeah. He did too good. Jo- he did too good of a job being the overlord and making androids that serve his will. They're like, "Well, what are we going to do?" And he's like, "Oh, don't do anything. Just you know, hang out." There's only one job in this place, and it's filled by a lady. And he's like, "Revolt!" Even though he's doing a perfect job because everything's working out, they're like, "Yeah, I would do things different if I was in charge." I'd stick my he- finger right in that dike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I would pull my finger out of the dike. Because if you stick your finger in the dike, you're doing a good job. Or it's assault. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I got you it. You stupid. <laughs> you <No. go. laughs> Not that kind so of punch you right in the face. So he sticks his finger in Anna. I mean, um, he meets Anna, and then uh, She's she pleasant. explains that Yor is from there, and that uh, his, his father tried to escape, and then his father, did, he didn't make it. Something. Something, and Yor has lived... His life away from them, and uh, they've been watching him. And he's been awesome the whole time. And he's been awesome the whole time. Hey, yeah, I remember that. That was me being awesome. Yeah. And the Overlord comes in. He just kind of teleports in. (laughs) Hi. And uh, he monologues, like, oh, yes. Yo, we've been watching you forever, and uh, your powers are quite good, and we like the way you handle things, and you're awesome. (laughs) And uh, yours is just like... I'm going to bail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, there's no chicks in here for me to bang, so I'm totally outy. <laughs> just All right. Yeah. Leaves. Okay. Rude. <laughs> he is monologuing, dude. And then we will... Oh, shit. Did that cocksucker did, leave? Did he just... <laughs> did you just leave? God damn it. The oh, androids fucker. have been doing that lately. <laughs> <laughs> Am I that boring? <laughs> So, Pag and Kayla are now inside with the dude that they've met, and uh, they meet Anna and uh, some old blind dude who's, like, the leader of the revolution. Or Yeah, because nothing says revolution like a blind guy. With a gong on his chest. <laughs> it's like Moses. He has the biggest amulet thing, because his life was super exciting. Yeah, I don't really get this guy's deal, but... He's, yeah. He's a blind guy with an amulet. <laughs> uh, so, they... Uh, Kayla bails now while they're talking about bullshit. She's like, I got to go find Yor because he's looking for chicks and I'm looking for him. Yeah. I got to make sure he doesn't find any chicks because I know his, what he does when he finds chicks. And then the guy asks Pag directly, did she already leave? Because that's part of their plan. Yeah. And then it's part of or maybe the Overlord's Pag plan. Knows what's going on. Like, she's... No, Pag's like, yeah, she left. And he's like, okay, good. That was our plan. Like, oh. why is that your plan? And then the Overlord's plan is like, I'm going to let Yor go uh-huh. so that he can meet up with, like, you want to get them together? This was not the way to go about it. Yeah. You yeah, just yeah. put them in the same room because you had the power to do that from the beginning. Well, she gets led into this mirror room, which is fucking dumb. Uh, and Yor gets led into the throne room. And right behind the throne room is the mirror room. And uh, they get lost in there, even though they're standing next to each Kayla, other. Kayla, where are you? This I'm is... over here. Come to me, Yor. Where are you, Yor? This is the only time that Yor is not awesome. He's like, <laughs> oh, this is not awesome. I don't get it. I thought it's seeing a thousand me's would be awesome, but I'm really confused right now. I'm scared. 
I never thought I'd say it, but there's too many me's. <laughs> so they do the stupid back up into each other thing. and Oh, shit, it's you. Well, let's make out. But then they're taken to the tube room, and uh, they're not taken. They're led to the tube room where, where your just came out of. And... And is like explaining the plot of the movie, or no, uh, the Overlord is that the world has been nuked, and uh, now the world's overrun by bar- barbarians, except for this perfect island. And the Overlord is like, I want to rule the entire world, but first I must commit genocide by killing all of the barbarians, and then having awesome Aryan-looking dudes rule the fucking dude. Robots. He's, so he's, he's gonna goddamn take Nazis. Yeah, he uh, is gonna take. Because apparently she has the perfect genetic code. Yeah. That's for a barbarian. For whatever. Yeah. So he's going to take their DNA together and put it in an android, and that's going to be perfect. Mm-hmm. And then he's going to be in charge of it. Okay. Mm. Get an ant farm, buddy. Well, the people don't fucking like it because they fucking revolt. Yeah. And then there's a laser war. Pew, 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 pew. Because that's the sound lasers make. <laughs> And uh, and a freeze your and it's time for fucking action. So they're running all over the place, kicking ass. Pew, 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 pew. Trying they, to get to the ship. They've got laser guns. Yep. Peg's now got a laser gun. Pew, 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 they've pew, pew. got a plan to blow up the thing. They've got the a core, the nuclear core. The atomic pile. The atomic pile. That's what it is. The nuclear core would make too much is that, sense. Is the atomic pile just where you throw the like nuclear waste? Like, that's the pile of atomics. Uh, that was a good joke that didn't go over that well. I wasn't joking. Yeah, I don't what is the atomic pile? The atom- <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you eat that really big burrito at the gas station again. The mother of all burritos. The mother of all that burritos. That causes the atomic pile. You leave an atomic pile. And you don't need a bomb to blow that up. It's already, it's on its own. I have sometimes walked into the, the bathroom after you've ate that burrito and there is uh, too much radiation in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Geiger counters off the charts. Um, so yes. you have to walk out with echolocation. I can't make dolphin noises. <laughs> <laughs> so they, so they want to blow the whole fucking thing up, whole island, and they're on their way to the atomic pile. And the your or the road is blocked. Like the uh, apparently they've disengaged the over the atomic pile bridge. And so yours like, well, fuck that shit. And he grabs a swingy thing and swings across to the atomic pile and plants the bomb, but he didn't hang on to the rope. Yeah, he didn't hang on to the rope, so the rope swung back, and he's like, shit, how do I get back across? Well, guess what? he could have very easily hung on to that rope. He could have hung on to that rope, you stupid yore. He's too busy being awesome. Yeah. Well, guess who's more awesome? Yeah. Fucking Pag! He comes in trapezes. Save me with your trapeze. Who? 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 At the age of 70, 60? How old is this guy? He's not young. He's not young. But He's he totally... too old to be trapezing around. And he really needed to just grab it and throw it hard, and it would have made it over there. It doesn't look as cool. It's yeah. not as awesome. Yeah, but the trapezing really added that... something to this movie. I thought I thought Pag was like, I've saved you, you're... I don't have enough momentum to carry myself in, and the bomb is not quite perfect, so I'm going to suicide myself. But then he just like is like, Catch me, or yeah, he, everybody lives. Yeah, Pag kills like a bunch of androids after this. Yeah, they fuck shit up with the lasers and pew, 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 pew. And the old blind guy is in like c- the control room and he's yeah. just flipping switches. He's just fucking down. mashing buttons trying to turn shit off. <laughs> Turning, uh, he's androids probably off. blown up half the planet by the time he fucking turns <laughs> the androids off. Yeah. All of the other sea villagers yeah. are just fire lasers. <laughs> Not the lasers again. So the Yor, Yor chases the Overlord down, and uh, he gets blinded by him, and the uh, El- Overlord gets in this elevator. I don't know where he's going, but Yor's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. He grabs his like candy cane striped pole and stabs him in the chest through the elevator yeah. wall. And he was like, Pag is going to shoot him, and he slaps the gun down. He's like, no, no. And he grabs the pole, and he just jams it into him. I got this. And I was like, that is Fuck ow. this dude. Fuck that guy. And he doesn't die. He does no. not die yet. There's more laser battles. Pew, 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 A lot pew, of laser pew, battles. Pew, pew. And then uh, Pag gets trapped, but uh, he's just about to get taken down, but the all of a sudden the androids get shut down, the last of the androids. 
So they all make it into this ship, and the bomb goes off, kaboom, and then right as, as the bomb is reaching them, the overlord's, like, reaching for the button to stop everything, and he it just falls, like, six inches just short. Just almost makes it, walks all the way, it's like, he goes all the way across the building, up the stairs, and then all the way back across the building, with a pole oh. sticking out of his side. It really hurts. And he almost makes it. Six more. Oh. He's got. He's just like you. Gotta be fucking kidding me, <laughs> I'm dying. fucking androids. So they take off. They fly out into the island, and uh, it blows up. It blows up. Narrator comes on and says that yours needs to travel around and make sure that uh, mankind's future is secure and that uh, nobody ever blows shit up ever again. Maybe. Maybe. Because maybe it was a big part of that. Credits. Yeah. So is there supposed to be a sequel? I mean, not not now in hindsight, but was there like... I don't think so. See you later, the adventures of Yor, where he may or may not stop people from blowing shit up. Yeah, I don't think that uh, Margariti had planned on it at all. Hmm. I figured he got the Columbia monies and was like, I'm going to, you know, double, I'm going to get the double whammy out of this and then I'm on to the next thing. All right. Who's got questions? Who wants to go first? I got a good question <laughs> that we didn't even talk about. This is something that I've... When you watch this movie, you want to see if anybody notices the fact that every fucking village that yours at gets completely fucking destroyed. Absolutely. So my question is, has any village or settlement ever survived a visit from Yor? Well, the first one really isn't his fault. Um, it's kind of his fault because he just runs away. He could have helped. I mean, he does help for a little bit, a but little then all bit. of a sudden he just stops helping. Yeah, He's stops like, helping. I'm a uh, lady. I'm taking care of the lady and I guess the old guy too. So, uh, as long as women are involved, which seems to be pretty much every village, no, they all fucking die. Yeah. He's like the opposite of King Midas. He just fucks everything up. Like if. At the end of the movie, they're like, yours going to save the future. No, he's not. He's going to destroy the entire planet. He's, he's incidentally. He's not here to uh, help. He's here to bang everybody. Yeah. He's trying to uh, create his own race. <clears throat> I, I think he's just trying to bang. Yeah. Oh, there's ki kids come from that? Whoa, shit, I had no idea. Shit. It's not going to stop me from banging. Jackie, what do you got for me? My only question was about the moth mm -hmm. dinosaur thing. Yeah. The, it, whether or not it was still alive, and we already addressed that. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, what's Thor? Or you, your your. What has your been up to this entire time before this movie starts? What we saw him doing at the beginning, just wandering around, being awesome. Yep. Just that's it. That's all he does ever. Looking First shiny you. thing he sees that day. That's what he's doing. So, how many villages has he blown up before this? Seventy three. Oh, <laughs> damn it. This is just a bump in the road of him blowing up villages yeah. for, for your huh? This is just a week in the life of your Yeah. So this is a good tie in question to that. How many kids do you think your has? We know 73. of three. Well, here's the problem with him spitting yeah. out uh uh children is yeah. these ladies are all gonna die. They're all they die. That he has zero kids zero because kids. he killed them all. Yeah. In incidentally. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Inadvertently. Inadvertently. Whoops. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, like, he builds, I, honey, I'm going to build you this perfect cabin. We, we'll live there for the rest of our lives. And, ooh, I'm not a very good designer because I've put the kitchen right over this cliff. And as he opens the refrigerator door to get a beer, just knocks every single one of them right off the fucking cliff. Oh, shit. No, it's like he builds a oh. really big and extravagant teepee in a dinosaur nest. <laughs> and a fucking dinosaur sits on it with his family. And they're like, God damn it, dude. Ooh. And then he kills the dinosaur because oh. he's awesome. And then a lady sees him do it. And she's like, whoa. Cycle perpetuates yeah. itself. I have one more question, and it's basically all of this same question again. Uh, so <laughs> does Kayla have to deal with other ladies forever? Like, is she just going to, like, if they're happily forever... Is she just always gonna? Yeah. Is gonna be some lady like the mailman's gonna come the, or the male lady, and he's gonna be like, "Hey, the male she's lady. gonna be like, no." So this ties in. I have a question that ties directly into it, which is: Does Pag ever get any action? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to think that what happens on that spaceship that may or may not be a spaceship <laughs> is that the doctor lady's like, "Pag, hey, buddy, you're pretty heroic," and he's like, "Yeah, but my shit doesn't work." And she's like, "It's okay, I'm a doctor." And uh, that happens, so she doesn't have to worry about what that happens? shit. What happens? 
think Pag uh, nails doctor lady. Oh. And uh, okay, but I so, thought it didn't work. Oh no, problem. She's a doctor. She's yeah. got little red pills or blue or, pills. Hello, just... welcome to the show, Justin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, because they're from the future. Yeah, or she just milks his prostate. Ah, <laughs> so I don't, I don't need it to be hard. I just need it to spit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what about retirement home level? Your Retirement home level? Year? Yeah, Yor is now 85 years old. Is he still jumping over shit and being awesome? I'm no. awesome. And uh, is he still like causing problems with all of the ladies? Yor makes it to 38. <laughs> because he slips and falls off a cliff, doofing around being awesome. <laughs> On dinosaur shit. Yeah, just like, you know, the second that he's not completely physically capable of surviving his own disasters, he is dead. He died the way he lived doofing around, doofing around. <laughs> <laughs> watch yep. me jump this Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> uh my last question <laughs> who's not wearing a wig in this movie pag pag i can't find anybody i guess the uh overlord doesn't have a wig on well he could underneath his uh yeah, overlord that's hat true. <laughs> Just like this fucking weird gray wig that's on sideways. Like, good thing you never took that off, because that looks like shit. Uh, so I'm going to recommend this film, of uh, which isn't much of a surprise. I, I did like it. Uh, I'm going to say that I didn't like it as much as you, Sam. I just uh, I thought it was fun. I didn't think it was uh, didn't blow my fucking brains out. Yeah, it blew my brains out the first time I saw it. I think that the reason I like it so much. Is it uh, encompasses that uh, sort of chaos in Italian filmmaking that films like The uh, Visitor, mm-hmm. a lot of the other films are too good to really consider them a bad movie. This is not a good movie. Mm-hmm. This is no, a bad it's movie. It's a bad movie. And it has all of that chaos that some of those other movies that are almost good movies that are just too wacky have that I can be like, yeah, this is really a good uh, tip of the spear for zany Italian filmmaking. Jackie, your thoughts on your The Future from the Hunter? I was seriously entertained, and I laughed like a bunch, because some of it was just so damn ridiculous. I liked it. I thought it was funny, and it had enough of a storyline to keep you interested. It moved fast enough. I- I'm going to give it a do. All right. That's- I will say that it did move down. The Biggles has overtaken it in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, Biggles was a better movie. All right. I think I like your better, but I don't like time travel movies. So either way, watch your. That's three uh, dues from us. Jackie's pick next. Do you know what you're picking, Jackie? The ultimate canon film called The Apple. It's a musical canon film. Oh, yes. Good. Directed by Yoram. Or I mean, not Yoram, but... Uh, Menachem. 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 This thing was supposed to rival, like... All of it, Greece. About Adam and Eve. Yeah. Oh boy. This, this was supposed to be the ultimate music musical one. It was supposed to take over Xanadu. This is it was be supposed to be just shit. take over Xanadu. God, I hope we can take over Xanadu. <laughs> yeah, this one was supposed to be like because you know the, there was all this buzz about Xanadu at the no, time. No, there wasn't. Xanadu was a huge flop, Jackie. Nobody uh, liked it. Yeah, but this one is supposed to blow that one away. <laughs> According to the the movie that I watched about you, you were right films. with, with uh, you were right with Greece. Greece yeah. was a big deal. Greece. Zeus was Zeus. Xanadu was not. What's the diamonds are a girl's best friend? What's that? Moulin uh, Rouge. Are you talking about with Marilyn Monroe? Yeah. Um, oh, something like it hot. Yeah. Nope. No, it's not something like it hot. It's uh uh the most extravagant musical ever made. Before Jackie said something. Uh. It's not the seven year itch either. It, it, no, uh, that's what I was thinking itch. was the seven year itch. Hmm, I don't no. know. No, seven year itch wasn't a musical. This is uh, riveting. So check out the Apple. It is on Amazon Prime and uh, meet up with us next week. Visit us at www.stinkermadness.com. Follow Stinker Madness on Twitter at Stinker Madness. Please rate and review us on iTunes and Stitcher. Thank you for listening and get to the chopper.